Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today, I have the brand new 2019 Northern Border Collection Pike Creek 21-year-old. This one is finished in Oloroso Sherry Cast, bottled at 45% ABV. I'll let you know why this could be a perfect transitional whiskey from someone that's going to Scotch the Canadian when I knows it, taste it, and give it a mark. All right, main difference between this year's Pike Creek 21 and last year's. Last year was a European oak finish. This one, obviously, Oloroso Sherry. Limited to just 4,420 bottles on the nose. Lots of sherry influence here. Whatever cast they used for the finish, they definitely picked up lots and lots of sherry. Rich, bold notes here. Dates, some maybe some figs, chocolate comes with that sherry. Behind all that, you get more like stereotypical Canadian profile, vanilla, caramel. Maybe like a little bit of like red apple note in there too. Really nice nose. It is really good. Definitely like a scotch profile. I think if you handed me this and didn't tell me what it was, I would assume some kind of sherried scotch whiskey for sure on the nose. Let's go palate. That rich, bold sherry runs throughout. Um, almost like a dried kind of cranberry note that I get there too. That's really good. A little bit of chocolate comes back again. The vanilla caramel comes back again. And some spiciness. Definitely a big spice kick here. Like a peppery kind of spiciness to it. Finish, I'd say like medium in length. Again, that spice comes through on the finish a lot. Kind of like a sweetness, like a sweet like molasses, kind of like rum characteristic note on the finish too. Very interesting. And then you get slightly dry oak. That red apple comes back again as well. Very interesting whiskey. Um, like I said, it's like Scotch profile that kind of turns to Canadian. It does like a 180 on you. Um, that Canadian aspect comes through. The balance, I guess, is a little off for me. Nothing's taking too much away from it. It's just, it's like, it's exactly what it is. It's a Canadian whiskey that they've tried to make into a Scotch. Um, perfect gateway whiskey for the sherried Scotch lover who hasn't tried a Canadian whiskey before and wants to maybe try something out, they would love this. This is a perfect, perfect gateway uh, whiskey for that, for sure. Score wise to me in this one, I'm gonna go 84 out of 100. For value, not gonna add value. This was a gift from Scott. He is the marketing manager at Corby. Scott, thank you very much for the bottle. Um, last year at the LCBO, I think these were right around the $100 mark. So we'll see what they priced this one at this year. Not released yet as a recording but I think that the LCBO has all these bottles in stock and just waiting to roll them out. So we'll see how the LCBO does. Um, so, you know, if you know the LCBO, you know that sometimes they're kind of slow in rolling out product. So we'll see, hopefully it comes out soon. Um, there you have it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. As always, have a good one, guys. Cheers.